Welcome to I Live Stocks. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite tickers, Peton. Peton, Peloton. Why did Peloton stock pop today? First, we're going to look at the website. If you ever pulled up the website and like to study stocks, I always like to do that. But uh, everybody more or less is familiar with Peloton since COVID came into play. This has really been a good popper for people building homes and building little uh, exercise rooms in their houses. I think that will continue on into a trend, especially with home builders. They will be putting an extra room in maybe for for fitness centers, you know, babysitting rooms. So, yeah, this is a change, of course, COVID is for Peloton. What I like about Peloton today is why it popped so, you know, why it popped on the news on the 10th is Beyonce. Beyonce is in the news, as we all know. She is going to be the new sponsor for Peloton, which I think is a really good, classy way to go. So she'll make some extra money just by getting on that bike and doing a little bit of exercising. I think that's a good catalyst to bring more attention to the company. So I'm excited about Beyonce. And if you ever want to come to our room and learn what the J-Lo bottom play is, give us a shout. I love stocks. But that's J-Lo and Beyonce. And I think it's going to be a good catalyst uh, partnership with Beyonce. The endorsement of the product is a win for the company. And is creating a buzz of number of Peloton users. Is now speculating into what her username will be. So there you go, Beyonce. That's going to make the big stock run. Now let's go ahead and look at the uh, the chart itself. Peloton. I'm going to pull up the yearly, and I'm going to use my two my SMAs when I go to find a yearly support. And that's going to be the 200 and the 50 SMA. So let's go ahead and pull up the yearly. We did pull back under the 50 right now, which is good. If we break that 50, that could be a nice little breakout. Now, what I like about this is this is what I talk about a lot. When you do have a breakdown stock, how do you find a support? The question is, what do you want to look when you're looking for a support level? Now, what you want to do is clear your chart up and look for like a, a, resi a resistance area that failed once before. And if you look at that right in here, right around 98 19 had a resistance fail right here and then she went ahead and broke that double top triple top and had that breakout so we did pull back to that to that sending triangle this is called an ascending triangle so that's a real strong support level for the first support and that's where we did pull back to as you can see i'll draw it up right in here And it broke out way before that. I mean, you could probably cattle it right there and then bring this across right in here. And that's what you call an ascending triangle. So this is going to become a real strong support. That's what you look for when you're looking for a bottom. Now, I want to play it safe. In case we do have another pullback, we did pull back to this 92 area. So I'm going to look for an equilibrium on this chart for a support level. And I'm seeing it right around this 90.76. So that's where I'm going to put the lower support at 90.76, somewhere in that area. Right there where we had that fat finger right in here. But I'm going to bring it down just a little bit and adjust it. There we go. I like that 91 right in there. So that's going to be our low support to hold. Now the resistance to break, we're going to pull this up on the 20-day. We do want to try to fill the gap. And that's going to be right here at 110. So if we can get to the 110, that's going to be my exit spot. Support level is going to be so far at 98.19. Now let's pull up the 20-day, see if I missed anything. We do have a resistance to break, and that's going to be right up in here on the 20-day. And I'm thinking right about in this area right here at 107.43. If we can build that above that, that'll be great. Now the pullback in between this channel, we're going to look for a pivot point. It's going to be right around here, right around 103.26 to this number right in here. I like this area right in here too. But I'm going to bring it up just a little bit to 104. Bring that to right there. Then I'm going to color that in. Let's go to the five day. This little area right in here is going to be a pivot point. 
So if I think it can pull back, it can pull back to that area right there. This is how you try to find support levels. See, we've consolidated for, what, three days down here now? We've created a channel. When you see things like this, you have the pullback, you have the descending triangle, and then she kind of held this channel. So that's when you see a channel like this, you might be reversing back up to reversal. And you're going to maybe even could run it back up here to 117.02. That'd be a long scenario right in here. We'll just chalk it in right in here, right there. 117.17. So that's going to be our goal to get to that level right there. But to get there, we got to break these two resistance levels at 110. So we've got three exit areas. We've got two exit areas. 110, and then we're going to look for a little area in between here that I think I think we could have us another resistance level, and that's at 114. So the ideal trade to take with Peloton right now, and we're going to go back to the 20 day, is to keep it in this channel. We are building an incended triangle right in here, and that's on the two day, and I'll show you exactly why it could break out today and move higher, right in here to right there, and then you got the ascending triangle again. And I talk about these a lot. So that's the resistance we got to break at 107.43. If we can get above that, we're definitely going to go up into this other channel. And that's where you're going to exits are going to be. It's going to be between 110 and 117 with a pivot point right around 114. Right now we're at 107.40. So we are getting ready to break that resistance level. Remember, sending triangles are bullish, especially on a down tick like this. It's going to be a beautiful play back up to break into resistance level of 117 long. And if she keeps on running, bring her on up higher. But I think this is going to be a nice little gift for Christmas. Uh, they are bringing the prices down also for it to be more affordable for the middle class. And I think that's another good catalyst for Piton to maybe find some support down here in this channel and to break back up into resistance. No, it's not going to go to the moon. But we do find got to find an equilibrium in this 20-day chart. And that's going to be Piton. I love stocks. So always remember, Beyonce is backing her up, endorsing. That's going to be a good catalyst for this stock to maybe move back up. And we're going to go ahead and hit the I Love Stocks website. Always remember, hit that Twitty bird. We post alerts in here all the time. If you're not a member to the room, you can at least get some alerts in here. We also have... Our stock twits, Miss Vegas is alert. I mean, accounts right here. She's really got some good followers, 7,900 followers. Follow her leads. She posts some my alerts in here also. We like buying at support and selling at resistance. We have different ways of trading. We trade options. We trade stocks. We trade pennies. We try to look for the reasonable trade to get in and try to tell you when it's time to maybe exit the trade I love stocks. Everybody have a good day. Let's enjoy the rest of the week. And this is P-T-O-N. Piton.